C I E D N C E R T presents audiobook of mathematics for class 4 titled math magic book 4 textbook in mathematics for class 4 chapter 6 titled the junk seller part 1 now let's listen to chapter 6 titled the junk seller page 60 there are two pictures given here on page number 60 these pictures show the junk seller's shop in one of the pictures the board of the junk seller's shop's name is there it reads kiran sumitra kabadi ki dukan in the other picture The junk seller has been given. Have you ever met a kabadi wali, a woman who sells junk? This is a true story told by Kiran, who has a junk shop in Patna. I studied in a Hindi medium school in my village. My father wanted girls to study like boys. I loved Hindi and science, but I hated maths. Today. Maths is most useful for my work. I could never imagine this in school. What about you? Do you also find maths difficult? What is the most difficult thing in your maths book? Dash. What do you think is the easiest lesson? Dash. Kiran says. When I was young, my father died in an accident. so my mother worked as a servant in some houses we had a difficult time i had to leave school after class 8 i wanted to study more but my mother got me married my husband's family lived in a mud house his two brothers and his sister did not go to school he had a tea stall page number 61 find out how much for a cup of tea ask people and find out the cost of a cup of tea at a tea stall dash at a hotel dash here on page number 61 an ant has been drawn next to it a talking bubble is given it reads If a person who runs a tea stall earns rupees 30 in a day how much will he earn in 10 days and in a month how did you get that answer discuss Kiran continues her story I thought of starting my own business I thought I should open a bangle shop or a tailor shop but my uncle said that we could earn a lot by opening a junk shop in 2001 my mother in law and i opened a junk shop we took a loan of rupees 8000 for the shop find out what is a loan have you ever heard of someone taking a loan for what dash how much loan was taken dash How much money was paid back? Dash. Harya and Babu want to buy a hand cart for rupees three hundred. There are two pictures given here on page number sixty-one of Harya and Babu. There are two talking bubbles given here along with their pictures. Harya says, "I have taken a loan of rupees three hundred from a bank." for 6 months i will pay rupees 51 every month to the bank but i have taken a loan of rupees 300 from chunni lal after 6 months i will pay back rupees 360 now who has to pay back more harya or babu dash page number 62 Kiran continues her story. People laughed and teased us about our work. They called it 
गंदा काम और डर्टी बिजनेस बट आई डिड नॉट थिंक सो आई न्यू दिस आइडिया वुड वर्क नाउ वी हैव अ पक्का हाउस विद इलेक्ट्रिसिटी वी हैव अ फ्रिज अ टी वी एंड अ गैस स्टोव माई हजबेंड्स ब्रदर सिस्टर एंड ऑल्सो माई डॉटर गो टू स्कूल देर आर टू पिक्चर्स गिवन हेयर ऑन पेज नंबर सिक्सटी टू इन दीज पिक्चर्स किरण्स न्यू पक्का हाउस इज गिवन इन अनादर पिक्चर द जंक शॉप वे किरण एंड हर मदर इन लॉ वर्क इज ऑल्सो गिवन नाउ किरण स्पीक्स आई हैव नाइन रिक्शाज ऑफ माई ओन I give the rickshaws on rent each for rupees 20 a day on Sundays I do not take any money for them How much does Kiran earn from 9 rickshaws in a day For one rickshaw she gets rupees 20 per day So for 9 rickshaws she will earn rupees dash How did you do it There are two talking bubbles given here on page number 62. The first one reads, "Hey, I will do it like this. 9 times 2 is 18. So 9 times 20 is 180." The other ant says, "But I find this easier. For 10 rickshaws, she will get rupees 20 into 10 is equal to rupees 200." So for 9 rickshaws she will get rupees 200 minus dash is equal to dash Think of some other ways to do it Encourage children to use their own strategies to solve such problems There should be discussion on how they arrived at their answers Page number 63 In a week how much does Kiran earn from one rickshaw do it mentally and write the answers 2 into 6 is equal to dash 20 into 6 is equal to dash 2 into 60 is equal to dash 3 into 42 is dash 4 into 80 is equal to dash 4 into 81 is equal to dash Here on page number 63 a graphic of an ant has been given next to it a talking bubble reads 4 into 81 is 4 more than 4 into 80 am i right 9 into 25 is equal to dash 31 into 9 is equal to dash There is a picture given here on page number 63 of Kiran running the business at her junk shop. There are two workers working for her. She says, "I have my own small junk shop. I buy junk from junk collectors. They go from house to house and bring junk on hand carts. I then sell it at the big shop." How much to pay for this junk? Kiran has bought some junk from junk collectors. Observe the rate list given on the next page to check today's rates. Help Kiran to find out the cost of the junk. Here on page number 63, a diagram of an ant has been given. A talking bubble reads, 1 kg newspaper costs rupees 5. 30 kg cost Rupees five into thirty equals to rupees one hundred and fifty. So for thirty-one kgs, she pays rupees dash. How much will Kiran pay for thirty-one kilogram newspaper? This exercise encourages children to use different strategies other than the standard algorithm for doing multiplication. Page number sixty-four. A rate list has been given here in a blue box on page number sixty-four. It has two columns: the kind of junk and price of that junk per kg. 
The first kind of junk given here is waste paper. The price of 1 kg of waste paper is rupees 4. The second one is newspaper. The price for this newspaper is rupees 5. The third kind of junk is iron. The price of 1 kg iron is rupees 12. The fourth kind of junk is brass. The price for this brass is rupees 170. The fifth and the last kind of junk given in the rate list is plastic. The price of 1 kg plastic is rupees 10. How much will Kiran pay for 42 kg of newspaper? Also find the cost of A. 22 kg of plastic B. 23 kgs of waste paper C. 12 kg of iron Now, can you do this without writing? A graphic of an ant has been drawn here on page number 64. The ant speaks Guess the total money Kiran will pay to the junk collectors. Will it be more than 600? Less than 600? You were just listening to Chapter 6 titled The Junk Seller Part 1 Voiceover Artists Shalini Singh and Vebhav Srivastav Sound Recordists Butelang Lingdo and Vikas Sangwan Assistance in Production by Shanu Muksim and Amit Kumar Producer Vimlesh Chaudhary This book was presented to you by CIET NCERT New Delhi, India